Hey everyone, welcome back to, Coins Buyer. You have these rare own call penny coins so please contact me on my Facebook page so today, we're diving into a topic that could turn your old coin jar into a treasure trove. We're talking about the 1949 Lincoln penny, specifically, the one without a mint mark. Stick around because this little penny could be worth a fortune. Let's start with the basics. The 1949 Lincoln Penny is part of the Lincoln series that began in 1909. It's not exactly rare in itself, millions were minted. But here's where it gets interesting, if you have a 1949 penny without a mint mark, you might be holding something truly special. Now, you're probably wondering, what makes this penny so valuable? First off, most 1949 pennies have a mint mark. For pennies minted in Philadelphia, there's no mint mark, but it's important to differentiate because there's a specific reason this penny might be worth millions. The mint mark, or lack thereof, is a crucial detail. In 1949, pennies were also minted in Denver and San Francisco. However, the Philadelphia mint produced coins without a mint mark, which is standard. But here's where the rarity factor comes in. Rarely, some 1949 pennies from Philadelphia were minted with a mistake, a type of die error. This error penny, known as the 1949 No Mint Mark Error, has caused a frenzy in the coin collecting community. Due to its rarity and the error involved, it has garnered a lot of attention and can fetch a staggering amount of money. Depending on its condition, a 1949 Lincoln penny without a mint mark can be valued anywhere from several hundred dollars to, believe it or not, millions. High-grade specimens, those in mint or near-mint condition, can command top dollar at auctions. So, if you stumble upon a 1949 penny with no mint mark, don't just toss it aside. Check it carefully. If it's one of those rare error coins, you could be sitting on a small fortune. And remember, condition is key, coins that are well-preserved are worth significantly more. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting to uncover one of the most sought-after and valuable pennies out there, the 1964 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. And guess what? Some of these coins are worth up to a million dollars. So, stick around to find out why. First, let's talk about the basics. The 1964 Lincoln penny is part of the iconic Lincoln Cent series that started in 1909, celebrating the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. But what makes the 1964 penny with no mint mark so special? No mint mark means it was struck at the Philadelphia mint, which was standard for many years. However, not all pennies are created equal. What sets this penny apart is its rarity in pristine condition. Most of these coins were heavily circulated, so finding one in mint condition is incredibly rare. The value skyrockets when you have a 1964 Lincoln penny that's uncirculated or has unique errors. Look out for features like doubled die obverse, which are the result of a misalignment during the minting process. These errors can make the coin extremely valuable. So, how much is this penny really worth? For most 1964 Lincoln pennies in average condition, you might get a few cents, or maybe a dollar if you're lucky. But here's where it gets exciting, a 1964 penny that's in perfect, uncirculated condition can fetch thousands of dollars at auction. And if you find one with a rare error, like a double die or a striking mistake, you could be looking at tens of thousands of dollars or more. Now, here's the million dollar question, why are some of these pennies valued at a million dollars? It's all about demand and rarity. There have been instances where exceptionally rare error coins or those with an almost flawless strike have fetched astronomical prices at auction. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins that are one of a kind or have an interesting story. Imagine owning a penny that's essentially a piece of art and history combined. Want to know if you might have a hidden gem? Here's how you can check your 1964 pennies at home. Look for sharp details, a smooth surface with no scratches, and any signs of doubling on the letters or Lincoln's profile. If you think you have something special, it's worth getting it authenticated by a professional coin grading service. 
A small investment in grading could turn your pocket change into a life-changing sum. Coin collecting is not just about the monetary value, it's about the thrill of the hunt and preserving a piece of history. So, next time you get change, don't just toss it in a jar. We're diving into a coin that's got collectors buzzing, the 1966 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. Could this humble penny in your pocket be worth a million dollars? Let's find out. In 1966, the U.S. Mint produced millions of Lincoln pennies, but here's a fun fact, none of them carry a mint mark. Why? Well, during the mid-1960s, the U.S. Mint faced a major coin shortage. To combat this, they temporarily removed mint marks from all coins, including the Lincoln cent, to discourage coin collecting and keep coins in circulation. So, what makes a 1966 Lincoln penny with no mint mark potentially worth a million dollars? Let's break it down. First, it's all about rarity and errors. While millions were produced, there are a few unique specimens with errors that can skyrocket their value. Look out for double dies, off-center strikes, or planchet errors. These flaws can turn an ordinary penny into an extraordinary treasure. The next factor that plays a massive role in a penny's value is its condition. Coin grading is done on a scale from 1 to 70. A penny in pristine, uncirculated condition with a grade of MS 65 or higher can command top dollar. Add in a rare error, and you've got yourself a potential jackpot. Coins with red luster, minimal wear, and sharp details are especially prized. Now, let's talk numbers. Some 1966 Lincoln pennies with rare errors have sold at auctions for staggering amounts. While not every 1966 penny will hit the million-dollar mark, the right combination of rarity, condition, and error could fetch you a fortune. One recent sale saw a collector pay over $5,000 for a particularly well-preserved error coin. And prices are only going up as collectors search for the next big find. So, how can you get your hands on one of these valuable pennies? Start by checking your pocket change, coin rolls from the bank, or even old collections you might have lying around. Look carefully for those telltale signs of errors, double dies, off-center strikes, or any unusual features. Don't forget to use a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop for a closer look. Before you rush out to get your coin graded, here are a few tips, so, there you have it. The 1966 Lincoln Penny with no mint mark, an unassuming coin that could be hiding a fortune. We'll explore what makes this penny so special, how to identify it, and why it could be worth a fortune. First, let's talk a little history. 1967 was a turbulent year in the US, the height of the Vietnam War, the civil rights movement, and a country in flux. But what does this have to do with the Lincoln penny? Well, it's all connected to the coin shortage of the 1960s. During the mid-60s, the U.S. Mint was under pressure due to a massive coin shortage. To combat this, they decided to remove mint marks from pennies minted in 1965, 1966, and yes, 1967. That means pennies from these years don't have the usual D for Denver or S for San Francisco mint marks, making them seem less unique at first glance. So, you might be thinking, if all 1967 pennies lack a mint mark, what's the big deal? Well, it comes down to a few key factors, condition, errors, and a little bit of luck. Most pennies from 1967 were heavily circulated, and many show signs of wear and tear. But if you happen to have one in pristine, uncirculated condition, especially graded by a professional grading service as MS67 or higher, you're looking at something much rarer. The real jackpot, however, lies in mint errors. Mint errors are what can turn a regular coin into a collector's dream. For the 1967 Lincoln penny, errors like double dies, off-center strikes, or unusual planchet errors can significantly boost its value. Imagine finding a double die penny, where the date or lettering appears doubled due to a misalignment during minting. These errors are highly sought after and can command jaw-dropping prices at auctions. For example, 
1967 Lincoln penny with a notable error and in top condition has been known to sell for thousands, and some collectors are willing to pay even more for the right coin. So, how can you tell if your 1967 penny is worth more than just a cent? First, you'll want to examine it closely, maybe even with a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop, to look for any signs of mint errors. Next, consider getting your coin graded. Professional grading services like PCGS or NGC can authenticate and grade your coin, giving it an official certification. This not only verifies the coin's condition but also helps set a baseline for its market value. Graded coins, especially those with high marks or rare errors, can fetch significantly higher prices at auction. Now, let's address the million-dollar question, literally. Can a 1967 Lincoln penny really be worth a million dollars? While it's unlikely that a regular 1967 penny would hit that mark, extremely rare errors or unique features could potentially command sky-high prices among collectors. Coins with a great story, historical significance, or just a perfect storm of rarity and demand can go for extraordinary sums. While a million dollars is a stretch, the allure of finding a penny worth thousands or even tens of thousands is very real. So, there you have it. The 1967 Lincoln penny might not be a guaranteed ticket to millionaire status, but it's a perfect example of how everyday items can hold hidden value. So, go check your change jars, and who knows? You might just discover a hidden treasure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest videos about coins that are worth big money. Until next time, happy hunting. We're diving into the 1968 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. Could this little coin be hiding a million dollar secret? Let's find out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest coin discoveries. All right. Let's kick things off with a little background on the 1968 Lincoln penny. This penny features the familiar image of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side, a design by Victor David Brenner, which has been in use since 1909. But here's the kicker, in 1968, coins were struck at several mints, including Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The Philadelphia mint, however, didn't use a mint mark at the time, which is why some pennies from this year have no mint mark at all. So, what makes the 1968 Lincoln penny with no mint mark so special? Well, these pennies are typically made of 95% copper and 5% zinc, which was the standard composition before 1982 when pennies switched to a mostly zinc composition. What gets collectors excited, though, is the potential for unique errors or variations, like double die errors, off-center strikes, or other anomalies, that can skyrocket a coin's value. But is this penny really worth a million dollars? Let's break it down. Now, let's talk money. A standard 1968 penny with no mint mark, in average circulated condition, typically fetches around 1 to 5 cents. Nothing too exciting, right? However, if you're lucky enough to have one in pristine, uncirculated condition, the value can jump up to about 50 cents to a few dollars. Not exactly millionaire status yet, but we're getting closer, the real treasure lies in finding a 1968 Lincoln penny with rare errors or in a high grade, like MS-65 or higher, from a reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC. In such top-tier conditions, the value can climb into the hundreds or even thousands of dollars. And if there's a unique error on the coin? Well, now we're talking potentially tens of thousands. To give you some real-world examples, there have been instances where 1968 pennies with specific errors, such as double dies or other minting anomalies, have sold for significant amounts at auction. For instance, a high-grade error penny from this year once sold for over $10,000. So, while a million-dollar 1968 Lincoln penny hasn't surfaced yet, the potential is certainly there for extremely rare specimens, keep an eye out for any misstrikes, doubling, or other unique characteristics, those are your golden tickets. So, how can you tell if your 1968 Lincoln penny is one of the rare, valuable ones? First, 
inspect it closely with a magnifying glass or microscope. Look for any doubling on the date, lettering, or images. Check the edges for any irregularities and make sure to weigh your coin. Authentic 1968 pennies should weigh around 3.11 grams. Anything significantly different could be a sign of an error, for the best evaluation, consider having your coin professionally graded. A third-party grading service will give you an accurate assessment of its condition and market value, which is crucial for determining if you've hit the jackpot. So, is your 1968 Lincoln penny worth a million dollars? While it's unlikely, certain rare conditions and errors can still make it extremely valuable. Keep searching and inspecting those pennies, you never know when you might come across a truly rare find. We're diving into the fascinating world of rare coins, specifically the 1971 Lincoln penny with no mint mark, a coin that collectors are going crazy over, and that could be worth, wait for it, up to a million dollars. That's right. So, if you're ready to find out why this seemingly ordinary penny could change your life, keep watching. Before we get into the million dollar question, literally, let's take a quick look at the history of the 1971 Lincoln penny. The Lincoln penny has been in circulation since 1909, and it's one of the most iconic coins in the U.S. Mint's history. In 1971, over 1.9 billion pennies were minted in Philadelphia, which means most of these pennies don't have a mint mark. The absence of a mint mark on coins generally indicates they were minted in Philadelphia, which was quite common for pennies. So, why is this specific 1971 penny so special? Let's dig deeper. Now, the real intrigue starts. Not every 1971 penny without a mint mark is worth a fortune, but there are certain unique attributes that can skyrocket its value. First, let's talk about errors. Coin errors are essentially the holy grail in coin collecting, and the 1971 Lincoln penny is no exception. We're talking about double dies, misaligned strikes, and off-centers, these are the variations that can make a simple penny worth its weight in gold. One of the most sought-after errors is the double die obverse. This error is where the images or text on the coin appear doubled. Imagine the word liberty or the date 1971 looking slightly off or blurry, that's a double die error, and it can easily push the value of this coin into the tens of thousands, and in pristine condition, even higher. So, you might be wondering, how can I tell if my 1971 penny is the one that's worth millions? The key is in the details. To spot these rare coins, you'll need a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop. Look closely at the lettering, the date, and Lincoln's profile. Are there signs of doubling? Is the strike slightly off? These could be indicators of a rare mint error. Also, condition is everything in the world of coin collecting. A coin in mint or near mint condition with a rare error is what makes collectors willing to pay big bucks. So, if you've got a 1971 penny with a clean surface, sharp details, and minimal wear, hold on to it. Let's talk numbers. A standard 1971 penny with no mint mark might be worth just a few cents over its face value. But if you have one of these rare error coins, the value can skyrocket. In recent years, auctions have seen these error pennies go for tens of thousands, and in some cases, certain high-grade, rare error specimens have hit the six-figure mark. Collectors and enthusiasts are willing to spend huge sums for these unique pieces. The highest value for these coins comes from the best of the best, those with flawless error conditions and very high grading. We're talking MS-65 or higher from professional grading services like PCGS or NGC. And yes, the dream scenario of reaching that million-dollar valuation isn't just hype, it's about having the rarest of rare in the best possible condition. So, what should you do if you think you found a valuable 1971 Lincoln penny? First, don't clean it, cleaning can actually decrease its value. Instead, keep it safe in a protective case, and consider getting it professionally graded to confirm its worth. Remember, the world of coin collecting is full of surprises, and sometimes, the most valuable finds are sitting right under our noses. So next time you're sorting through your change, 
keep an eye out for that elusive 1971 Lincoln penny with no mint mark, it could just make you a millionaire. We're diving into a fascinating discovery, the 1972 Lincoln penny with no mint mark that's rumored to be worth a million dollars. Could you be holding one of these in your collection? Let's find out. The 1972 Lincoln penny, at first glance, looks just like any other penny you might find in your change. But, what makes it so special that collectors are willing to pay a fortune for it? Let's break it down. The Lincoln penny has been a staple of US currency since 1909, but it's the 1972 version without a mint mark that's caught the eyes of collectors. No mint mark indicates that this penny was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. Now, while the 1972 Lincoln penny is common, the ones that are valuable are those with a major die error, the infamous double die obverse. This error is where the magic happens. In 1972, the Philadelphia Mint accidentally created pennies with a doubling effect on the obverse side, particularly visible on the words Liberty, In God We Trust, and the date, 1972. This doubling was due to a misalignment during the minting process, and it wasn't corrected until after many of these error coins had already entered circulation. So, how can you tell if your 1972 Lincoln penny is the jackpot? First, grab a magnifying glass or a microscope and closely examine the lettering and date on your penny. Look for clear signs of doubling. It's not a blurry shadow, but a strong, distinct doubling that's easily visible to the naked eye. Another key identifier is that the doubling is usually seen on the obverse side, and there should be no mint mark under the date, confirming it's from Philadelphia. Now, let's talk money. The value of a 1972 double die Lincoln penny can vary greatly depending on its condition. In circulated condition, these pennies can fetch anywhere from $200 to $500. But in uncirculated condition, with that fresh from the mint look, they can easily sell for thousands of dollars. And the creme de la creme. The highest grades, such as MS-65 and above, have been known to sell for tens of thousands of dollars. Some extremely rare, pristine examples have even been appraised at nearly a million dollars in private sales. If you think you found one of these error pennies, here's what you should do, get it authenticated and graded by a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. A high-grade certification can exponentially increase your coin's value. Once your coin is graded, you can list it on auction sites like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or even consider selling directly to a coin dealer or private collector. Just make sure you know your coin's worth so you don't undersell this potential treasure. So, there you have it. The 1972 Lincoln penny with no mint mark is not just another piece of copper, it could be a golden ticket to a hefty payday. Keep an eye out for that distinctive double die, and who knows, you might just strike it rich. We're diving into a coin that has collectors buzzing, the 1973 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. Could this humble coin in your pocket actually be worth a million dollars? Let's find out. So, what's so special about the 1973 Lincoln penny with no mint mark? First, let's talk a little history. The Lincoln penny was first minted in 1909, and it quickly became one of America's most iconic coins. The 1973 penny was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, which traditionally didn't use a mint mark. No mint mark simply means it was made in Philly, which was the standard practice back then. But here's the twist, while millions of these pennies were made, not all pennies are created equal. The market value of a coin like this one isn't just about how old it is, it's about rarity, condition, and errors that make it stand out. Now, why would a 1973 Lincoln penny be worth so much? It's all about those errors and rarities. We're talking about coins with double die errors, misstrikes, or even off center prints. These unique features can turn a regular penny into a collector's dream. Imagine owning a coin that's one in a million, literally. In the coin world, any error that happens during minting can significantly boost a coin's value. The more unique the error, the more a collector might be willing to pay. We're not just talking hundreds or thousands of dollars here, 
in rare cases, these coins have sold for up to a million dollars at auction. Let's talk numbers. The 1973 Lincoln penny without a mint mark generally isn't rare by itself, but if you have one in pristine condition, like mint state or graded as MS-65 or higher, it can fetch serious cash. We're talking several thousand dollars depending on its condition. Add a significant error, and that value skyrockets. In some cases, auction sales have seen these error pennies reaching astronomical figures. For example, in 2020, a similar Lincoln penny with a rare error was sold for close to a million dollars. It just goes to show how the right coin can make a massive impact. So, how do you know if you're holding on to a gold mine? First, check the coin's condition. Is it shiny, without scratches, and looks almost brand new? That's a great start. Next, look for any abnormalities, double strikes, off-center images, or weird lettering. If you spot something unusual, it might be worth getting the coin professionally graded. Grading your coin can increase its value significantly, especially if it's found to have rare qualities. Services like PCGS or NGC can give you an official grade that collectors trust when bidding at auctions. So, is your 1973 Lincoln penny with no mint mark worth a million dollars? Maybe not immediately, but with the right error and in mint condition, it could be a jackpot. Always keep an eye on your pocket change because you never know when you might stumble upon a collector's dream. We've got something special for you, an ordinary looking coin that could be worth an extraordinary amount of money. We're talking about the 1974 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. Could this simple penny really be worth a million dollars? Let's find out. So, first things first. What's the story with the 1974 Lincoln penny? The 1974 penny, like many other Lincoln cents, features the iconic profile of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. If there's no mint mark under the date, it was minted in Philadelphia. But what makes this penny stand out among billions of other pennies produced that year? The answer lies in its rarity, condition, and some unusual variants that collectors are eager to get their hands on. The real magic happens when we talk about the variations and errors that can occur during minting. For the 1974 Lincoln penny, there are a few special traits that collectors are on the lookout for, including unique errors, high-grade conditions, and rare copper compositions. Pennies that are struck on the wrong planchet or have double die errors are especially valuable. In some extremely rare cases, a 1974 penny can have doubling on the obverse side, meaning Lincoln's profile or the date appears to have been struck twice. These errors can significantly increase the coin's value, especially if it's in a high-grade condition, like MS-67 or higher. So, what about the market value? A regular 1974 penny without any errors and in circulated condition is usually worth just face value, one cent. However, high-grade coins in uncirculated conditions can fetch anywhere from $5 to $50. But here's where it gets interesting, certain rare errors or exceptional conditions can drive the price through the roof. In fact, one of the most remarkable sales involved a 1974 Lincoln penny in mint state with a high grade that sold for thousands of dollars at auction. Imagine finding a penny that sells for a house. While it's rare for these coins to reach the million dollar mark, in pristine condition, especially if it's a rare error, the value can escalate incredibly fast. Now, the million dollar question, could you have one of these valuable pennies in your pocket change right now? Here's how to check. First, look for pennies that are in exceptional condition, minimal scratches, clear details, and a strong, original luster. Second, inspect closely for any doubling, especially on the date or letters. Don't forget to check the weight. A rare copper composition could be worth more than the common zinc-coated variety. And, of course, if you think you found something special, get it graded by a professional. A high grade from a reputable grading service like PCGS or NGC could be the ticket to a hefty payday. So there you have it, the 1974 Lincoln penny with no mint mark, an unassuming coin that might just be worth a fortune. 
Keep your eyes peeled and check your pocket change, because who knows? You might be holding on to a million dollar piece of history. We're diving into a very special and extremely rare coin, the 1977 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. And guess what? It's worth a whopping million dollars. Sounds unbelievable, right? But stick around to find out why this humble penny could be the jackpot you've been searching for. First, let's talk a bit about the 1977 Lincoln penny itself. The Lincoln penny has been a staple of American currency since 1909, celebrating the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. In 1977, millions of these pennies were produced, most of them minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. But what sets the 1977 no mint mark penny apart from the rest? Well, the absence of a mint mark typically indicates that it was minted in Philadelphia. However, what really drives its value isn't just where it was minted but rather a combination of factors including rarity, condition, and potential errors. So, what makes this 1977 penny so special? For starters, it's all about condition and rarity. Coin collectors, or numismatists as they're known, are always on the lookout for coins in pristine condition. This means no scratches, no discoloration, and no signs of wear. But here's the catch, most pennies in circulation are pretty beat up. If you can find a 1977 Lincoln penny that looks like it just rolled off the minting press, you might be sitting on a gold mine. Another key factor is rarity. While millions of 1977 pennies were minted, the number that survive today in mint condition is incredibly small. And if your penny has a unique error, such as double die obverse or off-center strike, it could be worth significantly more. Errors like these are like hitting the jackpot in the world of coin collecting. Alright, let's talk numbers. You might be wondering, is my 1977 Lincoln penny with no mint mark really worth a million dollars? The truth is, it's possible but incredibly rare. The highest prices are typically fetched at major auctions, where serious collectors are willing to pay top dollar for the rarest and most pristine examples. A 1977 Lincoln penny in perfect condition, also known as MS68 Red, in coin grading terms, could potentially reach those astronomical figures. However, most high-grade 1977 pennies usually sell for several thousand dollars rather than millions. So, if you've got a 1977 penny in your pocket or coin jar, it might be time to take a closer look. Even if it's not worth a million, it could still bring in some serious cash, especially if it's in top-notch condition. So how can you check if your 1977 penny is worth a fortune? Start by examining it closely. Look for signs of wear, and check if it has that bright, red luster which indicates it's in top condition. Next, consider sending it to a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. They can officially grade your penny and give you an accurate value. Remember, the key is condition, condition, condition. A penny in the mint state condition with a red designation is where the big money is at.